It is a very early Thursday morning, September 12, 2024. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Wanted to make this video early today because I'm going to be gone all day. Uh, we're running up to LA to meet with uh, Jack Morgan, who's uh, just gotten into town, I believe, a couple days ago, and was nice enough to uh, make some time meet up with us. And uh, we're going to be checking out parts of LA. Enrique will be joining us, Sid will be joining us, so it should be uh, pretty interesting. And so we're going to go through different parts of Los Angeles. Uh, the video will air uh, tomorrow, Friday, and it should be very, very interesting. And I'm going to get everybody's uh, perception or perspective of, of what they see happening right before their very eyes with the store closures homelessness, infrastructure, just the condition of the city, the condition of people, and all of that. So make sure you tune into that. But uh, I was reading a couple articles this morning. Uh, this first one from KCRA Sacramento. U.S. announces $700 million aid for Ukraine's energy grid and more. It says here, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken announced more than $700 million in aid for Ukraine Wednesday, yesterday. We are going to take a look this morning, today, when we get to LA. The condition of a city like Los Angeles, Tinseltown. While we're sending, this is unbelievable, I cannot even believe this, another $700 million to build um, their energy grid. What about ours? They're telling us uh, you know, not to use so much electricity out here to keep your house at a certain temperature, not water your lawn. And yet we're going to send another $700 million in aid so they can build their grid. When our grids are falling apart, our cities are falling apart. Look, I haven't been to uh, LA for a while and I know that when we get there, it's going to be worse than it was when we were there last year. Um, it just it boggles my mind that we're sending all this money outside of this country when we have so many people homeless, so many vets homeless, Americans homeless, food insecurity. The infrastructure in Los Angeles is going to look horrible, guaranteed. And we're going to point some of this stuff out. I wish we had multiple days to spend out there, but we're going to spend most of the day there. And we're going to look at the infrastructure. We're going to look at the grid. We're going to look at the condition of the city, the condition of the people. Remember the $25 billion that went to Los Angeles County to take care of the homeless? Well, we're going to find out today if that $25 billion, which nobody knows where it went. Isn't that amazing? Nobody knows where $25 billion went. We're going to find out uh, just the condition of Los Angeles. So make sure you check out that video tomorrow. Uh, here's another one from vis uh, visualcapitalist.com. $315 trillion in global debt. And it just gives a breakdown. Google this, uh, check it out. And it just gives the breakdown uh, of the global debt households. We have $39.9 trillion of, of global household debt. $63 trillion of government global debt, non-financial uh, uh, corporates, $50.2 trillion, financial sector, $56.5 trillion, emerging markets, $105.4 trillion. There is no way out of this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I'm going to have to side with the people who say there's, there's no coming back. Uh, the ship is going to sink. There is too much debt out there, and you need to be preparing for this. You better have a plan, ladies and gentlemen, because this debt can never uh, be repaid. We're going to see nations default. Uh, we're going to see currencies collapse. We're going to see people go hungry. It's all beginning right now. And I think uh, when we get to L.A. today, this is just going to reinforce with myself, the group around me, with you, that things are not getting better. They're deteriorating. There's so much debt. The, these municipalities, the cities, uh, the states, and the nation just have way too much debt. And you have to ask yourself, where did all the money go? And it's not just the United States of America. This is global. This is going to be a global depression. You must have a plan. I can't tell you what the plan is. But I would tell you this. You better be holding real things. You better not just be holding debt. You better 
own real hard tangible assets. You better have something put away. This is very, very serious. There, I've never seen, I, I mean, in all honesty, who knows who's even running this country at this point in all reality, right? Let, let's just be honest. Who knows who's running the country? There has never been so much uncertainty in America. There's never been so much division. There's never been so much crime. Uh, there's never been so much debt. You better have a plan, ladies and gentlemen, because this thing is about ready to break loose. All this money globally, where did it all go? Why are people worse off and not better off with this amount of global spending? Where did it all go? And when we look at Los Angeles today, we're going to ask ourselves and shake our heads. I just cannot, be cannot believe this is America. I already know what we're heading into, but it's probably going to be worse than I can even imagine. Um, I want to thank everybody uh, for the small donations. Uh, I want to thank all of you again because uh, it buys, you know, bags of dog food. It buys the little dog treats. It buys the toothbrushes. It buys the bottle of water. It buys the gasoline to put in the car. Um, so today we'll go out. We're going to feed some homeless. We're going to take care of the dogs. Uh, we'll pass out some hygiene products. We'll pass out some water. We'll pass out some clothes. And we'll just um, do what we can today to make people's life a little bit more comfortable, to make their dogs a little more comfortable today. Even if it's just for today, um, it helps. And I think that we got to start looking after people who need help, who need a meal, a dog that needs a meal, uh, somebody that might need a pair of socks. You have old clothes, go give them to somebody, you know? And, and I will say this, it's, there's nothing wrong making a donation to a charity or a food bank, that's wonderful. But I'll tell you, there's nothing more satisfying than actually taking your own time, going out there and putting food in somebody's hand, feeding somebody's dog, giving somebody a pair of socks, giving somebody a toothbrush, uh, giving somebody uh, you, you know, a shirt or, or, or a pair of pants. It is a very, very satisfying feeling. And I think when you do something good, God rewards you and gives you something back. And we're not out there to get anything back. We're, we're just out there to, to spend the day um, and just do what we think is right and help some people out. So I want to thank everybody for those little donations, pays for all this, and um, uh, put some gas in the car, and, and I can buy everybody something to eat today. And it it's just helps the world be a little bit better place. And if more people did that, I think the world would be a better place. Uh, let's just stop ignoring the problem. Uh, let's get more uh, proactive and help. Just help people out a little bit. Everybody did that. It would just, the world would be a better place. So uh, that's, uh, that's the day today. I wanted to give everybody just a, a, an update and check in with all of you. That's where we'll be today. Uh, feel free to comment down below on anything you want to comment on. But um, it is absolutely, you know, when I see the amount of people uh, coming in to this country, I have nothing against people from anywhere in the world. I, I don't want to see anybody suffer. That's why we're out helping people today. Um, we're just going to help people out. And it's all about just, I, I just want to see humanity survive and, and the world be a better place. And, you know, how are we going to take care of these people in Los Angeles or the people in Ohio or the people here or there? We, we cannot even take care of our own people. And yet we're importing people by the millions. Where will the jobs come from? Where will the food come from? Where will the, the uh, medical care come from? Uh, I, I just don't get how this is all going to play out. And we hear about these people getting these debit cards, $5,000, uh, they're driving newer cars. Uh, who's paying for all this? How is this even possible when we have Americans sleeping on sidewalks, uh, you know, being bitten by rats, typhus outbreaks, hepatitis outbreaks in LA, uh, food, uh, food insecurity, the entire city, I mean, looks like an apocalyptic movie. We're gonna see today, we're gonna see how bad it's gotten. But how in the world has this been allowed to happen? We're not taking care of these people. We're importing more poor people. Um, I just don't know how we're going to do this. And again, it's not political. I have nothing against anybody from anybody in the world. I want to see people survive. I want to see people prosper in all parts of the world. Um, it's not going to happen. Uh, we are setting ourselves up for a catastrophe. So I'm going to leave it there today. 
Uh, I got to get ready. Uh, we're taking off in a couple hours. Should be very, very interesting. Uh, keep us in your prayers. It's not a very, very safe place, but we always uh, make sure that um, we have the uh, uh, tools and the necessary um, necessary tools with us to make sure that we're okay and that we protect ourselves. Not looking for any trouble, never, never. But there's, I mean, there's so much crime now in LA, so much happening, so much uh, um, mental, mental health issues, uh, criminals, gangs, all that. So you never really know uh, what you're walking into, but that's why we always, um, you know, come prepared for the worst case scenario. But uh, we're expecting a nice, easy day, but you never know how these things go. Um, a quick update, uh, many of you watched my video the other day on the attempted break-in of the house here. Uh, the police uh, did come back yesterday morning to a house about four houses down where uh, the same individual, uh, allegedly um, same individual, uh, pulled the screen off a window, tried to get into their house. So the police were there uh, Wednesday morning uh, talking to the owner there. So this is becoming a real problem. So uh, be prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, make sure you have a plan. As we leave today, we have a plan. We, we are, you know, uh, always prepared for things going catastrophic. Um, but uh, we're praying that everything goes smoothly. So uh, I want to thank all of you for the donations, the prayers, the support, the positive thoughts, all that. I want to thank all of you for just tuning in this morning. Um, it is an honor and a privilege to speak with all of you daily. And it's an honor and a privilege to go to Los Angeles this morning and pass out food to homeless people and, and, and their dogs. It really is. Uh, I feel honored to be able to do that. And I want to thank you all for your help because without you, none of this is possible. Have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Uh, stay safe. And as always, I look forward to talking to each and every one of you. So make sure to tune into the next video, like, share, and subscribe.